Choo Choo and Friends in Storytime Adventures. A big tall boy named Toby often bullied and troubled Cha-Cha. Give me your lollipop, Cha-Cha! Huh? But this is my lollipop, Toby! It's mine now! <laughs> huh? What happened, Cha-Cha? Was Toby troubling you? Toby always troubles me, Choo Choo, and takes my things away. He does it because I'm little. And there's nothing I can do about it. You are a little Cha-Cha, but I'm sure you can find a way to stop Toby. Just like the clever monkey did when the crocodile and the elephant troubled his friends. The clever monkey? The crocodile and the elephant? Yes. Let me tell you the story. Long, long ago, some little animals lived in a forest. Some of them lived near a lake. <laughs> Some other animals lived near the trees. They all spent their days playing and having fun. One day, a crocodile came to live in the lake. Mm. Hello, everyone. I have some good news for you all. You are going to be my lunch. Ah! Huh? The animals who lived near the trees also had a problem. A mean elephant came to live near them. And he treated them all very badly. Mm. Yum, yum. <laughs> you are all so silly. The little animals went to a brave and clever monkey named Marty, who was their friend. The crocodile wants to eat us, Marty. And the elephant keeps troubling us. Don't worry, my friends. I will speak to them. Later that day, Marty the monkey went to the lake and spoke to the crocodile. Mr. Crocodile, please stop troubling my friends. <laughs> I'm sorry, Marty, but your friends look yummy. I can't wait to eat them up. Huh? The same 
something happened when Marty met the elephant. Please stop troubling my friends, Mr. Elephant. <laughs> Your friends are very silly, Marty. I just love troubling them. <laughs> hmm. Marty the monkey then came up with an idea to teach the crocodile and the elephant a lesson. Mr. Elephant, you think you're very strong, don't you? But let me tell you something. I'm much stronger than you. Blah! That's not true, Marty. So don't try to be a smarty. There is no one in this forest who is stronger than me. Ha 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 ha! Let's have a tug of war tomorrow, Mr. Elephant, and see which one of us is stronger. If you win, I'll know you're the strongest animal in the forest. <laughs> but if you lose, you must promise not to trouble my friends. Huh. Okay, Marty. Marty the monkey then told the crocodile the same thing. Let's have a tug of war tomorrow, Mr. Crocodile. If you win, I'll know you're the strongest animal in the forest. But if you lose, you must promise not to trouble my friends. Okay, Marty. The next day, Marty the monkey stood between the lake and the forest. All the other animals watched him and wondered how he would win the tug of war. Then, the monkey did something very clever. Rabbit, take this end of the vine and give it to the crocodile. Squirrel, give this end to the elephant. <laughs> Marty's going to lose, Rabbit. And you're going to be in my pie. <laughs> Marty's going to lose, silly squirrel. And I'm going to have fun teasing you all day. Both the rabbit and the squirrel did as they were told. Soon, it was time for the tug of war to begin. crocodile and the elephant began pulling the rope. None of them could see the other. And they both thought that Marty was at the other end. Mm. Huh? Mm. Uh? Uh. Uh. Marty Monkey is stronger than I thought! Uh, 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 Marty Monkey is stronger than I thought! Uh. After some time, both the crocodile and the elephant gave up. Uh, uh, I give up. You win, Marty. I won't trouble your friends again. I give up. You win, Marty. I won't trouble your friends again. The crocodile and the elephant then went away and never bothered the little animals again. This is the trick. They were competing with each other. 
<laughs> Don't worry now, my friends. The crocodile and the elephant won't bother you again. Hooray! And so, Cha-Cha, if you use your mind and are clever, just like Marty the monkey, you'll surely be able to stop Toby. You're right, Choo Choo! The next day, Toby saw Cha-Cha with a lollipop again. Give me your lollipop, Cha-Cha! Sure, Toby, you can have my lollipop. But first, you must win in a tug of war. Are you ready? <laughs> oh, yes. I will beat you very easily. Take the rope, Toby. But to Toby's surprise, he cannot pull the rope and win over Cha-Cha. Huh? Oh! I couldn't pull the rope and beat you, Cha-Cha. You must be really strong. I am, Toby. I am very, very strong. And I think it would be better if you don't trouble me again. Huh? Okay. Yikes! <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't this a good idea, Cha-Cha? And for us to hide here? And for Chica to hold the rope? It sure was! Toby's gone now. I don't think he'll bother me again. And not because I'm stronger than him but because I've been smart, just like Marty Monkey. Choo Choo and her friends were playing in the house. Baby Taku was playing with them too. <laughs> just then, Cusley came in. He picked Baby Taku up, set him aside, and sat in his chair. I'm going to sit in your chair, Baby Taku. It's nice and soft. Huh? Uh -huh. Choo Choo noticed how rude Cusley was being to Baby Taku. Cusley? That wasn't very nice. You're being very rude to Baby Taku. Baby Taku, so little. I'm sure he won't mind. No. Baby Taku might be little, Cusley, but he has feelings just like the rest of us. Uh. So, you must treat him kindly, too. Don't be like the elephant who didn't care about the rabbit. Elephant? Rabbits? Huh? Yes, Cusley. I'll tell you the story. And maybe then you will treat the little ones kindly. Choo Choo began her story. Long, long ago, there lived a colony of rabbits in a forest near a farm. They spent their days happily plucking and eating carrots. One day, an elephant came to live in the forest. He didn't treat the rabbits very kindly. He thought they were too little to worry about. So, he walked carelessly through the forest, trampling them beneath his huge feet. Ow! 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 One day, the elephant noticed one of the rabbits eating lunch and decided to play a prank on him. 
<laughs> I'm gonna have some fun with that rabbit. The elephant filled his trunk with water and splashed it all over the rabbit. Ow! <laughs> the rabbit grew very angry. He scolded the elephant. Mr. Elephant, you better stop treating us rabbits so badly. We may be small, but together we are mighty. The elephant laughed at the rabbit. I'm the mightiest animal in the forest. You're no match for me. You'll never be as good as me at anything. I'm far better than all of you rabbits. Frustrated with the elephant's pride and arrogance, the rabbit decided to teach him a lesson. Hmm. I have an idea, Mr. Elephant. Let's meet this evening for a race. If you win, you can treat us rabbits however you like. But if you lose, you have to promise that you'll treat us with kindness and respect. All right, rabbit. Let's race. But let me warn you, I'm going to win. <laughs> See you later. The rabbit hopped home quickly and called out to his friends. Friends, come quickly. I need your help. We must teach the elephant a lesson. The rabbit shared his plans with the other rabbits. <laughs> <laughs> that evening, the rabbit met the elephant as planned. Come on, Mr. Elephant. The race will begin when the woodpecker bursts the balloon. One, two, three! With a bang, the race between the elephant and the rabbit had begun. The elephant ran very fast and was sure that he'd win the race. The rabbit was so far behind him. <laughs> There's no way I can lose. Rabbit is so far behind me. Huh? But to the elephant's surprise, he suddenly spotted the rabbit just ahead. Huh? How could the rabbit have gotten in front of me? He must be really fast. I better run faster. So the elephant ran even faster. But he had only gone a little further when he noticed the rabbit was in front of him again. Huh? The rabbit is ahead of me again? I better hurry! Or he'll win the race! The elephant went faster and faster. But again, he found the rabbit was ahead of him. Uh, he's ahead of me? Again? Soon, the elephant spotted the finish line. Even though his legs ached, he ran towards it as fast as he could. Oh no! The rabbit's ahead of me again! And he's crossing the finish line! the race. <sighs> Rabbit, I've lost 
And you have won. I was wrong. You are as good as me. In fact, you're better than me. And so I promise I'll treat you and all the rabbits with kindness and respect. Thank you. <laughs> Little did he realize that the rabbit had played a trick on him. Just before the race had started, the rabbit had asked his friends, who all looked just like him, to hide all throughout the racetrack and run ahead of the elephant. Hurry, friends. It will be time for the race soon. Everyone will take a spot along the trail. And when you see the elephant coming, come out and run in front of him. The elephant will think that each of you is me running the race and that I am ahead of him. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. From that day on, the elephant treated all of the rabbits with kindness and respect, all thanks to the clever rabbit. Excuse me, excuse me. His trick had taught the elephant a good lesson and made him very humble. <laughs> huh? <laughs> oh, Baby Taku is little, but he's smart, Cusley. Just like the rabbit was. You better treat him nicely now, or he'll play tricks on you. Just like the rabbit did to the elephant. I'm sorry, Baby Taku. I'll be nice to you from now on. You may be little, but you are very important. Mwah! And so, Kusli learned to treat little ones nicely, for he realized that they are important even though they are small. Once there was a beautiful lake in the mountains, it had cool, sparkling water. The people who lived in the nearby town enjoyed drinking the water from the lake. They also used it to wash, bathe, and cook. Mmm! The water from this lake is delicious! I'm glad we can drink it when we're thirsty. Many people used to come to the lake for picnics. Hooray! We are at the lake. It's so pretty. Let's, Let's open, open our picnic baskets and eat our snacks. But sadly, many people also threw garbage in the lake. the lake very dirty. The garbage filled up the lake and made it smaller. And soon, the lake could no longer collect enough rainwater. Oh no! Our beautiful lake is so dirty now. And it's smaller. And it's collecting less rainwater too. We must do something, or we won't have enough clean water in the summer. And the fish living in the lake will get sick and die. 
Nicky was a boy who lived near the lake. He was very worried about the lake. And so, he called the little forest rangers and asked for their help. Hello? Little forest rangers? Can you come to the lake, please? The little forest rangers rushed to the lake. Oh no! The lake is very dirty! It's shrinking too! The people in the town will hardly have any water in the summer if the lake isn't made bigger. And if we don't get the garbage out, the dirty water will harm the fish in the lake. What do we do now, little forest rangers? How can we save the lake? Don't worry. We'll ask the people from the town to help clean the lake and make it bigger. And so, the little forest rangers asked the people from the town to help. Can you help us clean the lake, mister? Can you help us dig around the lake and make it bigger? If we work together, we will have plenty of clean water in the summer months. But the people in the town were very lazy. No one wanted to help clean the lake or make it bigger. Sorry. I'm busy now. I really don't have the time. Huh? No one wants to save the lake? We can't clean the lake and make it bigger by ourselves. What do we do now? Don't worry. I have an idea. And I'm sure it will work. Choo Choo went to the town's mayor. Hi, Mr. Mayor. Do you have any money to hire people to clean the lake? I'm afraid not, Choo Choo. The town council has very little money. We only have a few gold coins and some silver coins left. They were part of a king's treasure. Can you give me these coins, Mr. Mayor? They can help us clean the lake. Sure, Choo Choo. Thank you. The little forest rangers put the gold and silver coins in and around the lake. Choo Choo then made up a story. And she told it to Chiku, right in front of a lady. Chiku, look at this gold coin. I found it in the lake. I think the story I heard about the lake must be true. It said that a king had hidden his treasure chest in the lake many years ago. The treasure chest was full of gold and silver coins, just like this one. It said that a king had lost his hidden treasure chest in the lake many years ago. Huh? Gold and silver coins? A treasure chest? In our lake? Mmm. Choo Choo and the little forest rangers then pretended to dig around the lake. And they pretended to find gold and silver coins. Look! I found a gold coin! And I found a silver one. Let's fish in the lake and look for some more. Huh? The lady began to tell everyone in the town what she had heard and seen. There are gold and silver coins in the lake. A king lost his hidden treasure chest in the lake a long time ago. Everyone's looking for gold and silver coins near the lake now. Then we must all go to the lake too. We must dig all around it for the treasure chest. And we must use our fishing nets to look for gold and silver coins. Many people came rushing to the lake. 
Let's look for gold and silver. Let's look for the treasure chest. Many people started to dig all around the lake. They found some of the silver coins Choo Choo and the other little forest rangers had scattered. Look! There's a silver coin there! Let's dig deeper. There may be golden ones too. Some other people sailed on the lake in boats. They used fishing nets, hoping they would find the gold and silver coins in the lake. I found something too! Huh? It's a shoe! the people dug around the lake, it became much bigger. And while the people were looking for gold and silver coins in the lake, they took out the garbage too and made the lake cleaner. Soon, the lake was both big and clean. Hooray! The lake is much bigger now. And the water is sparkling and clean again. Yay! Everyone in the town will have plenty of fresh, clean water now. And the fish in the lake won't get sick or die. All thanks to you, little forest rangers. Did anyone find the treasure chest? It must have more gold and silver. The lake itself is a treasure chest. And its clean water is more precious than all the gold and silver in the world. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes, 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 that, that is, is true. Choo Choo and all the little forest rangers were very happy. They gave the gold coins to the people from the town. And they thanked them for their help. You all helped save the lake today. And so these gold coins are for you. Please use it for the welfare of your village. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Choo Choo and her friends liked to visit and help the little animals who lived in the forest. These bananas are for you. They're for you. Squirrels, would you like some nuts? Some turtles who lived in the forest, too. One of them was their king. 
He helped all the other turtles and the fish who lived in the lake. Oh, look! It's the Turtle King! Let's give him some lettuce! Like the other turtles, the Turtle King walked very slowly. But Choo Choo and her friends knew that he was very special. Look at the Turtle King, Cha Cha. He's walking very slowly. But there are many special things about him and the other turtles. <laughs> Cha-Cha, did you know that turtles can live both on land and in the water? And that the shell on their backs are very hard? Turtles' homes. They carry them wherever they go, and they hide in them whenever they're feeling shy. Really? One day, a poacher came to the forest. He wanted to catch some animals. Hmm. I wonder which little animal I should catch today. I want to make a delicious dish to eat. The poacher spotted the Turtle King. Aha! A turtle! I must catch it and make myself some delicious turtle soup. And so, the poacher tiptoed behind the Turtle King and caught him. The Turtle King tried to escape. But the poacher was too strong. No, no, no. You're not going anywhere. <laughs> the monkeys saw the poacher with the Turtle King. They rushed to call Choo Choo and her friends. What is it, little monkeys? Is something wrong? Do you need our help? <laughs> Don't worry, we'll come with you. And so, Choo Choo and the other children went with the monkeys. In the meantime, the poacher had made a fire and set a pot of water to boil. Carrots, tomatoes, peas, salt, pepper, and a turtle. Once I put all these things in the water, I'll have a delicious turtle soup. Mmm. 
The monkeys took Choo Choo and the others to the spot where the poacher and the turtle king were. Oh no! There's a poacher in the forest. He's caught the turtle king. He's going to put him in his soup. We can save the Turtle King. Monkeys, fish, you must help us. Now, listen carefully, everyone. Choo Choo told everyone her plan. Choo-choo and the others then went up to the poacher. Hello, mister. Are you cooking something? Yes, I'm making some turtle soup. Mmm, that, that sounds, sounds delicious. delicious. Will you share some with us? We are very hungry. Mister, you've washed the vegetables nicely. You should wash the turtle, too. He looks very dirty and muddy. Huh? Is that so? Playing in the mud this morning. He had big fat worms crawling over his back. And we also saw him crawling where a monkey had done a poo poo. Really? Ew! <laughs> Mister, the water in the lake is very clean. You can wash the turtle there. He'll also taste nicer and fresher if you do that. Hmm. The poacher listened to Choo Choo and her friends. He took the Turtle King to the lake. And he dipped him in the water. Just then, Chiku signaled to the monkeys. And Chica signaled to the fishes in the lake. To the poacher's surprise, all the monkeys gathered on the trees around the lake. And they all began scolding him. Huh? Then they started throwing the fruit from the trees at the poacher as well. Ow! 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 The poacher used one hand to save himself from the fruit. But his other hand was still in the water, holding on to the Turtle King. And so, the fish in the lake began biting it. They wanted the poacher to loosen his grip on the Turtle King. The poacher had no choice but to pull his hand out of the water, he let the Turtle King go. And the moment he did that, the Turtle King quickly swam away. Yay! Yay! Choo Choo then quickly called the Forest Ranger. Mr. Forest Ranger, there's a poacher in the forest. Don't worry, Choo Choo. We'll take care of him. Please come with us, mister. Er, you children tricked me. You made me put the turtle in the water so it could escape while the monkeys threw fruits on me and the fish bit me. We are sorry about that, mister. But we didn't want you to hurt our friend. Hmm. 
The forest ranger made sure the poacher left the forest and never returned again. Choo Choo, her friends, and all the other forest animals then had a party for the Turtle King, who felt happy and grateful to have Choo Choo and the other children as his friends. Hip hip, hooray!